you know, he must feel so frustrated inside. And it amazes me how much he manages to contain that. And he doesn't have our, you know, especially when he's trying to speak to us and, you know, he can't always get across what he's trying to say. And, you know, when he's trying to type and he keeps sort of repeating a letter and he's just, all he wants to do is just get across what he wants and he can't. He amazes me because honestly, sometimes I sit there and I think to myself, my gosh, how is he not kind of losing his temper or, you know, sort of throwing him, you know, it, it, his level of, of, of patience and tolerance is just it, way, way above my, my head. Because, you know, I'm sure so, so many other people in that situation would be, wouldn't be able to hold it in. I think he's amazing. You know, there is a whole flip side to that, which is, you know, at the end of the day, you know, your dad is, your dad's suffering and, you know, in, in his condition. Um, and you can see, you know, I can see where it's going. 